Hey Pectus Warriors, it's Riley Byrne from FixPectus.com. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how to determine how severe your pectus is. So I get this question all the time. My Instagram for Pectus Warriors Instagram channel is just flooded with people DMing me saying how severe is my pectus and attaching photos. Now there is a way to roughly determine how severe someone's pectus is just from visually looking at it, but there's a lot more behind the scenes. So to get a, a proper and thorough analysis of how, to, how severe your pectus is, uh, you have to do a CT scan and actually look at the internal images of your body, okay? Because the external is only going to give you so much. Now, to be honest, the first thing I would go about in determining and classifying severity of pectus is based on symptoms, okay? So, um, you know, there's pectus which is just cosmetic. So it's just visual and you just don't like the way you look, okay? And typically they're more milder cases. And then there's other symptoms. Symptoms that are related to your health and, you know, physical symptoms such as early onset of sh shortness of breath, heart pain, heart palpitations, dizziness, fatigue, and these things should definitely be monitored. And if you're feeling symptoms like that and you have pectus excavatum, there's a high likelihood that there is some kind of correlation between pectus and those symptoms that you are feeling. And you definitely should be getting that checked out through a CT scan, doing tests through your doctor to determine you know, that you don't have any underlying health conditions that are a concern to your health. And so that then segues me to the next part, which is getting a CT scan. So if you are feeling those symptoms or you just want to know because you know you have pectus excavatum from visually looking at it, then the best way to determine the severity is a CT scan. So they've been using an index called the Hauler Index to determine the severity of pectus uh, for years now. And basically they do that based on your CT scan um, of, your, of your chest. And the, the, it's, the index is determined by dividing the width of the chest internally, okay? Just at the widest point, see the, the diagram I have here, which is seen as A length, and then divided by B length, which is from the inside, the most compressed part of the chest, to then where it meets the spine and the spine and the smallest gap between the most compressed part of the chest and the spine, okay? And so typically a person deemed a normal chest has a whole index of less than two. And then dependent on the severity of your pectus, the, the higher the hula index, the more severe the pectus, okay? And so, and obviously that makes sense because the higher the hula index, then it means the more times that the B length goes into the A length, which means obviously the B length is smaller, which means there's more compression there. I, be I believe that they classify a hula index between two and 3.2 as mild pectus excavatum, 3.2 and 3.5 as moderate and 3.5 and greater is severe. Now, moderate, mild, severe, I don't think they're necessary classifications. The way I would look at it is just, uh, uh, to what extent is it affecting your life and um, what symptoms are you having? And then you can obviously have the Hauler index number as a good point of reference. Now, what is the point of this? What's the point of classifying the severity of your pectus? Well, firstly, it's important to then determine the necessary approach to fix it. You know, how, is your pectus severe enough and you have bad and you have enough symptoms that it's a real health concern, your Hauler index is quite severe. Um, and then you might, clar when you do the CT scan, you get the Hauler index, then um, different countries have a different grading in terms of whether you clarify for their healthcare system in which it's not just a cosmetic surgery, but it's actually like a necessary surgery for your health and the healthcare will then cover it. So that's one reason to do it, to then determine whether you, know, you can have surgery for free covered by your healthcare or not. Um, another reason is obviously just checking in on your health and then determining the appropriate action for you. You should definitely get a scan if you're concerned, you really wanna know, you know the severity of your pectus and then you can take the appropriate action if you know, based on getting the scan and, and doing the test, you, your pectus is determined to just be cosmetic, then personally, obviously I have some bias here, but I would just be an advocate for treating using exercise and stretching to mask your condition, especially in the more milder cases because the effect is, is amazing. I'm sure you've seen my result. Um, if you haven't, then you know I had pectus and I was able to fix mine just through exercise. Now by fix, I don't mean structurally changing my chest wall, but I mean building a body for me. The only real symptom of my pectus uh, was the fact that I didn't like the way I looked. 
Um, and so I was able to change that. I was able to build my body to an extent to make my pectus hardly noticeable in which I like the way I look just through building my pecs, fixing my posture. And that's what heaps of my clients have done as well. So if you have a more just cosmetic, milder case of pectus, then that's a great approach. If you have a more severe case of pectus, but there isn't a health concern, then I still think exercise is a great approach. It's still gonna make a very prominent difference to how severe your pectus looks, okay? Like when you are skinny, when you have bad posture, it accentuates the pectus so much. And same as if you're holding onto body fat in which it's pulling out the pot belly appearance and it makes the indent look a lot worse. So visually, um, through exercise, we can achieve a lot. Now, obviously, uh, pectus is when it, when it is more than a cosmetic deformity is related to uh, problems associated with the heart and the lungs. And so obviously after getting a scan and determining the depth of these problems, but a lot of the time they're just milder problems such as just um, decreased exercise tolerance and an early onset of shortness of breath, things that can be actually improved through exercise as well. So with my training for my clients, it's far more than just bodybuilding. We're also training to improve heart and lung function, doing a lot of cardio in the program to improve that. Um, and in a safe way, just through mostly zone two steady state cardio, okay? And just trying to build the aerobic capacity of the individual. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you're worried about how severe your pectus is, do the necessary steps, get the scan. It's worth it. It'll give you peace of mind so then you don't have to be in anxiety, not sure if it's just cosmetic for you or if there's other problems associated with it. Um, so go get that test. I hope this video provided some clarification in, in how to, to, and how to determine the severity of pectus. Um, you know, pectus does come in all shapes and sizes, not only in terms of how deep it is, but also width, shape, asymmetry, symmetrical, you know, pectus is very unique. And that's why for my coaching, you know, I offer an individualized coaching approach to the individual based on their needs, what they're trying to achieve based on their pectus, their circumstances, their lifestyle. So if you're interested in coaching, then link is in the description. It'll take you to my website where you can book a strategy call with me so we can meet, I can get to know you, find out your goals, what you want to achieve, talk about your pectus, how it affects you, um, and then I can create the best approach for you on, on how to treat it without surgical means. Obviously, if you're looking down the surgical route, then you should go through the medical system. Um, and you know, if you are worried, if you are feeling any of the symptoms that I mentioned earlier, or any symptoms related to your heart or your lungs or just health in general, I would go and get that checked out formally through the doctors and um, take the appropriate steps. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.